does it feel the same as I thought it will feel? Honestly, it doesn't. Life gives you so much. You just have to take it. in um, now but today's plan is to go to Roosevelt Island take the Roosevelt kind of tram over the bridge over the lake like over the river and walk in the Roosevelt Island currently almost 3 p.m. I've been resting because yesterday was crazy day that was my last video I was exhausted extremely exhausted so how to now leave and hurry up because I have to walk like 10 minutes to the subway Pretty much everywhere I have to go, I need to take like two subways, so it usually ends up being quite long, but a tip, use Google Maps. Google Maps literally shows you everything, everywhere, it's just so easy. I mean, there's also City Mapper. I used to use it when I was in London, but I realized Google Maps is the same and good either way. I went to Queensburg Bridge, I walked over it, and I actually thought, oh, I could be able to walk to that little island from the bridge. It turns out you should take a different bridge that is smaller. So yeah, I went to the other side, okay, I went into the Manhattan. Then I saw the line that was for the tram over the river to the island. And I was like, is this worth it? As it was Saturday and the line was the line was extremely long. I literally asked multiple people, how long have you been standing in the line? How long has it been? Because it was... Mm. But anyways, about the Roosevelt Island, there is, it's really scenario, but actually it's packed. It's like 75 to 100 people in that small tram and the ticket is the same as the metro. You basically buy a ticket, you scan your card, scan your phone, you buy the ticket, it's the $290 uh, dollar ticket. You, but you actually can get to the island by the metro, there is a specific metro that goes there. And yeah, the train takes three, four minutes. <laughs> For the amount of time I waited, it feels kind of funny. My meal after standing in line for a Starbucks toilet for like three minutes. Solo meal on the island. I mean, but it, it is quite a must do thing because it looks nice if you get a good spot. On the way back, I got a nice spot like by the window because if you're packed in the middle of everything, there are a gazillion people and that's all you can see. And also the windows were quite dirty, so it's not the best look though. Um, but anyways, it was worth it. It was worth it. Even though in the island, I didn't do anything. I just literally walked around sat because I was tired after standing in the line. And I was tired after to walk to the other side because I got out and I walked over the bridge and all that, like 5k around. And then I just walked through the big street. It was my second or third day. And then I walked, walked to the Grand Central Station. Actually, I couldn't find it at, far, at start. And to be honest, it's like nothing crazy. I don't know why people really talk about it that much. Okay, yeah, there's nice something, but nothing crazy. There are shops in there, there are stores in it, there are multiple things like that. Yeah, there are nice architecture, but it's nothing that that crazy. Like, okay, Google says it, please don't call it Grand Central Station, okay, but it has to be a terminal. But I don't know, there are just a lot of coffee shops, places to eat. And uh, it is the station where bigger trains go outside of the city, not just metro train station, terminal, whoopsies. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, I show, saw a show in the subway, in the metro, uh, like pretty much people dancing, some teenagers uh, dancing, kind of uh, dancing, and then uh, like afterwards asking money, money, there are a lot of people just randomly asking for money, like cash, getting like money like in the hat or whatever, but yeah, there are so many activities things happening in the metro. Um, person told me that they have seen people showering or washing their hair on the metro, in the metro, which is insane. <laughs> okay, this was one of my favorite days and these are things you must do too, because honestly, they're stuck in my mind, my memory. They will be forever, because they feel kind of special. I mean, okay, the start is like by the pier, by the bay river, walking around 
to the little island. It was more like a crowd island, not like a viewpoint. I'm by the pier where everyone is running, everyone is walking. It's 4 p.m. It's actually warm. And everyone has carpet dogs. Seriously, everyone. The island was like a queue because everyone's there. I think it was a Sunday. The weather was finally great. Obviously extremely windy because that's New York. <laughs> but the island, the view from the top was nice. The river was extremely dirty. There were nice views. The same amount of people. No, more people than nice views though. Anyways, walking by the pier, bay, I don't know how it's called. It's nice, but again, it's like a crowd. That's New York, that's nothing new. Okay, a little more touch up on what I said. West side of Hudon River, so it wouldn't sound that pier bay, because it's not really that. Uh, previously, I didn't film clips, but I walked through Soho a little bit. That reminded me more of uh, Europe, a little bit. Not everything, like America is completely, completely different. And I hate that I didn't really make any talking videos, because right now, I can't really decide what to say, other, way, other than I tried to enjoy the views and walked around. And walked more and more. Then afterwards I took a metro to Brooklyn and the start of this really 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 popular picture if you have seen it It's called start of the Dumbo Brooklyn Bridge view in Washington Street You probably have seen somewhere the picture. It's literally everywhere and also everyone was there taking so many photos But why this day was so memorable? Meaningful? I don't know actually not that meaningful just like I was looking at these views by the river and looking how the day turns into night and just thinking about the fact that I can't believe I'm here. I'm actually in New York City, in the city that I, where I always wanted to go and just see how it is like. What's the American life really like? I just couldn't wrap my head around that I'm actually there in New York, in America. That literally was my goal for the life, to go to America. My goal for the year, this year, to go to America and that I'm finally there, already there, that I fulfilled my dream quite kind of that quickly. It's just, I can say that anything can happen in life. You can do it. You can achieve and fulfill your dreams. You just have to act on, up on them. You have to make them true. You have to put the work in. You have to connect with people. You have to search, try yourself and not wait till something will happen by itself. But not everything just happens randomly. Life do give you opportunities. That's one thing for sure. Life gives you so much. You just have to take it, you have to appreciate it, and you have to do it. Just do it. My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew What is your dream country, city to go to, and have you ever been to New York City? What I can say about the feels about New York, and does it feel the same as I thought it will feel? Honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't feel the same. It feels less of the hype, like you know in movies, wherever, it feels like, oh, New York! New York! Okay, when you put on the Empire State of Mind song, it feels like you're in a movie. But otherwise, it's just a city that is really hyped up. With many people, everyone going somewhere, they have their way, they just go straight, they know where they're going, uh, except tourists, obviously. Um, it feels different than I thought it will feel. That's for sure one thing. It doesn't feel like I thought it will be. I'm not saying it's worse or better, it's just different. It's way, way different. But words can't describe how grateful I am for this trip. Words can't describe how I can't wrap it up my head around, as I told you previously. If you want to support me, there I have in link down below Patreon, or you can buy me a coffee. Those things, as I don't earn anything from social media, but I love creating content. And if you go to any of these places, just highlight them in Google Maps. Little Island, Brooklyn Bridge. You have to walk to, through the Brooklyn Bridge. 
by in the on the Brooklyn Bridge from Brooklyn to Manhattan. Otherwise, you won't be walking into the city, into the big uh, skyline buildings. Otherwise, you just the skyline buildings will be from your back. And I highly recommend it to do it on the sunset in the sunset time, but when it's a uh, golden hour, there will be everyone, <laughs> all tourists too. But it's highly worth it. It's honestly highly worth it. And then just take a metro back where you have to go. The metro subway is really easy. If you have any questions about m traveling in New York City on a budget, traveling all overall in New York City, anything, any places to go to. I also have made so many highlights and videos from my daily day life on Instagram and on TikTok if you want to check out that. I kind of lost my voice, so that's what. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next amazing New York City vlog. I can't believe when I'm recording this, I have three days left. Bye.